Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Shalisa. And I'm Dale. And we are interns of the New England Flying Squirrel Network. And today we are going to be showing you how to check your nest box, as well as how to upload all your information onto the Survey123 app. Yes, okay, so um, it's important to check your nest box at least once a month. Any more, and that might disturb any occupants, and any less, and you probably won't find anything if it happens. So, um, before you check your nest box, you're going to want to, ours is a little bit higher up than yours probably is, because we have a ladder. If you have a ladder, put it up as high as you can, but if it's, if you don't have one, then any, any height is okay. Um, but, um, I'm going to knock on it first to try and let anybody inside know that I'm coming in to light. Uh, and then we're going to shake a little bit, and if anybody's in there, they should fly out of the hole. Um, or if they can't, then they might still be in there. So it's important to like open the door to your nest box a little bit slowly to make sure there's nobody in there. And if there is anybody in there, you're going to want to be as quick as you can be um, to get a clear photo. But if there's nobody in there, then you can look around a little bit. There's nobody in this one. So it looks like we've got um, some food nuts and some moths. Do you want me to take a photo? Yep, we're gonna get ready to take some pictures here. There you go, so you can get some better pictures. Um, after you're all done here, you can upload those photos onto the Survey123 app that we have linked on our website. Um, from there, you can upload your photos, and then after that, you can also answer any questions about any information you found in there. Like up in this nest right here, it looks like there's lots of chewed nuts um moss. yeah moss too like little which are good material. indications of it being a flying squirrel nest yes yeah, so once you're done here you would go onto the app and specify what you found you know if there were any animals in there um you would write down what animals came out if there were flying squirrels you would count how many came out and then record that online um also make sure you get the box number on there so that we yeah. can find out where it is. We can see what location it's at, but we won't be recording your location. Um, yeah, that's it for the app. So if you don't know your box number, yes. email us and we can tell you what it is. I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna put the nail back in and then leave it for another month. Okay. Happy squirrel watching. Bye.